Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to replace the power steering pump pressure line in any automobile that is equipped with power steering. Any power steering equipped vehicle will have a pressure line. It looks something like this. It goes from the power steering pump to the power steering box. In order to remove this line, you are going to need a line wrench. It looks like this and secures on the fitting thusly. So to remove the power steering line, we're going to start on the power steering box using a line wrench and we're going to loosen the fitting. It's important to try to keep this fitting intact. You don't want to round it. It would be really, really difficult to get it off if you did round it, uh, but this should come off with not a ton of torque. So just use a line wrench and you'll be fine. Make sure the O-ring comes along with it. It's on the end of the line. Uh, you don't want to have two on there when you replace it. Now we can go to the back side of the pump and do the same exact thing. Now with both sides of the lines disconnected from their respected parts, we can remove the line. Next, we want to compare our old power steering pressure line to the new one to make sure it's identical. We also want to make sure that new O-rings are installed on the new pressure line. Make sure and double check your old pressure line to make sure that the old O-rings came along with it. You don't want two on there when you're reinstalling it. So next we can reinstall the fitting onto the power steering box. We're going to thread it by hand at first and then we're going to use a, a line wrench to tighten it up. There's really no way to give you any kind of torque spec on this. Just tight enough is, is fine, uh, but you do need to use a line wrench or else you'll round the fitting. Next, we need to route the line the exact way in which we removed it and attach it to the back of the power steering pump. Again, we're going to need to use a line wrench here uh, to not round the fitting. Doing this kind of repair means you're going to be losing some power steering fluid, so we need to replace it, making sure that we use the power steering fluid intended for your vehicle. This information is available in your manual or online. So we need to keep adding power steering fluid until it comes up to the correct point on the dipstick here. It looks just like a regular kind of oil dipstick, but it's shorter, made of plastic, and the mark is uh, usually a little bit inward, and it's quite visible, you can't miss it. Now we can turn the vehicle on, making sure the engine's on, and we can uh, start turning and jostling the wheel. This will work the air bubbles through the power steering pump itself. Uh, you're going to want to check it after this to see if the level's gone down any. If the level's gone down any, make sure you fill it back up after the engine's been turned off to the uh, point on the dipstick that we showed you earlier. And then it's a good idea to keep an eye on it over the next couple of days just to make sure that the level doesn't drop anymore. And you also might find that the... Uh, power steering pumps making some odd noises or the wheel judders just a little bit. Again, those are the air bubbles making their way out throughout the system. After a repair like this, it's also a good idea to flush your power steering fluid. I have a link in the description to an awesome video on that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit DukeRPros.com where our online automotive experts are standing by ready to help for free.